live stream. We are back with some more Dynamos of Greb. We have uh, not done this in a couple days, I think. Actually, I can check real quick. And it's been two days. <laughs> Give me a second to get the stream up on my computer. Yeah. So, we have about 25 mil. So if y'all want to go and start thinking of some cool ideas for players, that'd be dope. No, no one's in the stream anyway, actually, so that's a stupid thing for me to say. Anyway. Welcome back to some Dynamo Zagreb. Career modes. We're doing the Dynamo Zagreb Road to Glory. And I did find out that uh, the Dynamo Zagreb thing was a glitch. Because of us being a, uh, a team in the rest of the world section. So yes, we are glitched, sadly. Um, so basically every single season, we shall automatically get the Champions League. I, we could probably get relegated this season and still get Champions League, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't really have too many goals this season. Maybe bringing in some really good young players. Uh, selling is not really one of my major things. What I may do at the beginning of August is start putting up a lot of loans. Man, someone already wants to buy this guy. Um, no, we're going to wait. We'll probably He probably will get sold sometime in our future, but not right now. So our first game of the season, professionally, will be uh, sweet for will be Stockholm versus uh, Zagreb. So it's gonna be a tough game. We are gonna go and sell out this guy. He's a uh, he's he's our uh, kind of mid age Croatian. Not really anything good. So it's I guess it's time to separate our ways with him. What we are gonna do is uh, just look at some more young players here. Uh, we have a. Potential midfielder right here. What we're going to do is go on here and start looking at what we want to do for loans. So we're going to loan out this guy. Uh, we'll, we'll keep everybody else in. Uh, no right backs are gonna go out on loan. I don't actually. No, we'll throw marked out on loan. The the back line right for our mid for our defensive is not gonna change anything. Uh, we will put Stefanak on loan. We'll put Lakovic on loan. Really, the only players I'm gonna put out on loan are the ones that are young, like the 19 year old players. Who aren't really any good. <laughs> that guy's decent. But there we go. This is our team. Uh, we're probably going to go ahead and just sell this Milano guy, honestly. I mean, Manalo, not Manalo. My bad. Okay. Um, do I want to do a youth academy this season? I don't think so. I think I have plenty of young players that I have on my side that are going to be good. Um, we don't have any super players. We probably, probably all of our players that we brought in are going to get like mid range, uh, 80 rated, like the mid eighties at most for most of my players. Uh, Stefanak, small chance he gets... Maybe a little bit higher than 85, but I'm not sure. We'll see, though. 
But hopefully we qualify this time. We were unable to qualify in the last season. We got knocked out by uh, one of the teams. And there goes Peric. That's an extra 500k added to our transfers. Well, let's see what kind of players these are. Because uh, we're always we're always looking into bringing in new players if I can. Oh, uh, right, MIDI. We don't have any of them, so it's a decent idea to always think of something like that. I think this season I gotta bring in a new defender. Uh, we lost both of our major defenders. We, we yeah we lost both of our starting defenders from the previous season. So I'm hoping that this season we can uh, not let that happen. Man. Death Skull's not even worth 30k yet. At the end of this season, we're going to be selling two midfielders, I'm pretty sure. And one thing I want to do is... I'll stop training this. And I want to get Pacheco working on his uh, shooting abilities. Because he could easily be my next like st starter for uh, the wing. Beast is starting to become a decent keeper. So hopefully he keeps growing up pretty quick. Okay, Manalo was a player that I wanted to sell. Uh, we'll just sell him for what we, what we got there. If someone wants to loan out our, our main striker. That's a stupid idea. And Champions League's here. There we go, cool. Dun, dun, I think this season we have a good chance at finishing. Maybe we, if we can do it good enough, there's a. I think we might be able to hit Europa League. In the table, at least. The one thing that we want to get is definitely a right winger. Everywhere else is kind of okay. Um, next season, we'll probably spend all the money on a decent defender. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we have enough money next season. So if we can make it out of the group stage in the Champions League, we'll get a decent bit of money for that. And I remember last season we beat PSG and all that crap. That was insane. And then we lost to uh, City, I think it was. I can't remember who we lost to. Wait, wait, was it Barcelona? I can't even remember. Hey, uh, no one's in the stream, so never mind. I was going to ask to go for someone to go back and check and see who we lost to in the Europa League. Whoever, Because I know we beat PSG somehow. Okay, so we got that team right there. The one player that I'm looking for for the for our uh, right wing position is um, that one guy. Screw it, we'll put Tenali on our list. Maybe we'll bring him in on a free deal. Hmm. 
Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Too mainstream in my mind. The one player that I do want to maybe bring in, though, is... Um, maybe a new right... A right back is always in my mind. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm thinking about this Paulinho kid. 20 years old. Probably about 80 rated. Hopefully I can get him. Let's see how this game goes. So if we can draw, then it's, then cool. And we do draw, so we should be able to make it through now, as long as we don't fail big time. I am still quite lucky that we did not get to um <laughs> to the uh, Champions League group stage last season. We would have definitely not gotten to the Europa League. We wouldn't have made it out of that group with anything other than just a major loss for us. So in the end, the Europa League was a good spot to go for us. And it went well. We were able to beat PSG, which is the most important part. Obviously. Three nil over Brescia. Tonali gets a card. Every time we've played against Tonali, he's gotten a card. So our four players... Wait, is Beast good enough yet? No, not going to 74. Definitely our center back position does look a bit weak. But I think we'll be okay. So we're going into this uh, Stockholm game as a host in Zagreb, Croatia. Spurs decided they, they don't like Harry Kane, so they brought in somebody else to play aside Harry Kane. Uh, good job. <laughs> Okay, the only thing we need to do here is not get destroyed. And we're safe. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll loan that guy out. He wasn't a player on my list, but I'll loan him out. And this guy should be buyable, which is nice. Definitely a much needed position. Hopefully we can get him for about 16 mil, which is where we're going to go for. Uh, I got to make sure I have at least 2 mil left over. I think that should be easy, though. We're just going to go straight to 16. And he then went a little bit more. We're going to get we're going to try to get him a little bit cheaper because I know he's going to demand a decent bit of wage. Yep, there we go. Cool. The reason I wanted this is because uh, our other right wingers are both 28 and we definitely needed somebody a little younger. And he's already, he's going to be a starter anyway. So it's not like it really matters. Uh, we might even sell one of our right, like one of our right wingers. The backup right winger might go away 
He's a higher rating than the other one, but this other one has a way has better stats. Okay, so this guy, Paulinho. This other guy has way better shooting. That's the problem. Okay, we're gonna put Paulinho on the bench for now. He'll get game time still. If he starts, if he starts scoring tons of goals off the bench, then we'll throw him in as a starter and see what he does. But I do know that Hajrovic is a pretty good goal scorer in our, uh, in our in this career mode so far. So I don't want to waste his couple final years. And there we go. We win two now. And there we go. Pretty simple. And we are going on to the next round. Welcome to the live stream, by the way. Help that person already left. <gasps> that was so rude. Oh, great. What a start. Juventus. <laughs> uh, so Chieva Verona, I think. Um... Empoli, I know that I know that that was a fact. So I think Chievo Verona. Oh, okay, cool. It's literally the same three that got relegated that are back up. Um. Okay. Sure, that, that works with me. So Parma and the two other teams that came up with me are both in the bottom, well, the second tier now. Oops, sorry. Okay, we're back. So let's see how the opening game goes. Uh, we get AEK Athens in our next uh, Champions League match. Um, I think that's. I think we'll be okay. I really get annoyed when teams try to come in and like loan out my best players. <laughs> like that's just so stupid. Why would I do that? Like, that's like saying Barcelona would loan out Osman Dembele or something stupid like that. Anyway, we are home. We did win in our last home game against Juventus. So maybe there's a curse there. But no, uh, Sanchez, which I'm assuming that is um, Alexis Sanchez because it's on the left winger, wing, left wing position. Sergio Ramos gets a yellow card, Mandzukic scores, and we lose opening day. That's fine. I don't care. It's Juventus. I did have this one thing when I played with Parma that, um, like, in the first about five seed, oh, actually forever, but I'm talking about when we were bad, we were able to beat Juventus every time at home, no matter what. And it was always, like, 1-0 or 2-1. It was never 2-0 or anything like that. I think it's kind of interesting how this Croatian team has a good bit of Bosnians on it. Just saying. <laughs> Here we go, AK Athens though. We are a little bit tired. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be a problem. Oh, we lost. Uh, that's a problem. I swear, if we get knocked out of it again, I'm gonna be so angry. still snowing outside I didn't even get out of school early
But I just want to, like, I can't do that yet. But I'll probably do it next season. I'll just be a massive waste of money and just throw a money into Sandro Tonali. But here we go. Genoa, away from home. I don't know what's going to happen. I have the hiccups, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, I need to lay down real quick <laughs> just to get comfortable while this game goes on we will simulate the games all in the future I just want to make sure we watch the beginning of the of the season Ugh, there we go and we're gonna lose this one. Oh wait we might get a draw oh, yeah we get a draw cool Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We have to win this game. We're 2 0 up right now. If we score another goal, it look it will look pretty good. There we go. I think we got it. Now let's see who did we get drawn against. Oh, they haven't put them up yet. I'm trying to yawn to get the uh the the hic the hiccup out. Someone wants to buy my goalkeeper Watford. Why would you do that? And uh, maybe in a couple seasons. Not right not right now though, Watford. You're gonna have to wait. The Polish league is very, very big for taking my Croatian young youngsters. You know what? We're going to give Paulinho a start. I just want to see if he can change this game for us. Oh, we won 2 1. Well, guess who's staying in the lineup? Oh wait, I need to go through the entire 
entire day because I need to make sure everybody leaves that is on loan. Oh my god. Oh, someone wants to buy this Defender. Screw you. Maybe next season we'll loan out. I mean, we'll sell Likovic. I think what we'll do, if he does not grow at all this year, we'll sell him next season. But he'll probably grow one more rating. Which means I'll hold on to him next season unless if I get a good replacement. We got manager of the month. I don't know how. <sighs> oh my god, this hiccup's not going away. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do my old trick to get rid of it. We'll see if it worked. If it did not, then we'll try it again. Nope, it did not work, okay. Let's try this again. Oh, we drew, I'll, ta I'll take it. And this hiccup's not going away. Great. Oh, we have such a, a stupid group stage, man. Okay. So, it looks like our battle's gonna be between Genk and I to get third place. I doubt we have much chance at, beat, at taking out Dortmund. We may be able to win at home. But Spurs should win both legs against us. Away at the Signal Duna Park. Let's see how it goes. If Paulinho fails to impress today, we're probably going to take him out. Yep, he definitely failed to help us out there, so... 
I think we know who's coming back in. You know what? We'll get Paulini another chance because we are at home against Chieva Verona. Man, none of my players wanted to go on alone. I don't think they understand how this world works. Welcome to the live stream uh, tutorial. Well, three tutorial. Here we go. We should be able to beat Chieva Verona. There we go. Good victory. So we have Inter Milan away from home. I might as well just keep it going with what we got. Oh, we got crushed. Wow. That's our biggest loss yet, I think. 4 now. I believe that's our biggest loss. Okay, we have home against Ghent. And Ghent, where we'll beat Spurs. Away from home. I mean, yeah, I mean at home. So if we're able to beat Genk at home, then that should mean we can beat Spurs at home. If we lose this game, then I think we know where we're going to finish in this uh, in this group stage. <laughs> Dead bottom. I don't know if Paulinho is a mistake. I think he might have been. <laughs> I think we might have wanted somebody else, like a new defender or something. But instead we brought in a new right winger. And it hasn't really helped us out in any way, shape, or form. Who's it, who are we putting in as a replacement? Okay, Rob Manny. Okay, that's fine. That's our third best defender. Well, centered back. Okay, there we go. Good game. We we were, we were able to win. Thank thankfully, thankfully. If we were unable to win right there, then we might have been in pretty big trouble. Training injury. Okay, well, we have a three-month injury on our goalkeeper. <sighs> That's pretty bad, honestly. Okay, Costa, you get to go in. Let's see if you can help me. Beast, you get to go in as, as a backup at this point. I think Pacheco's getting closer to being uh, able to go onto the bench. So, um, I don't know what we're going to do with our money. How big is our squad? Yeah, I, wanna, I don't want to go over like 45 because then I don't have freedom anymore to buy players. Because once players start retiring, that's when I start bringing in some decent regens.
Okay, here we go. This is a game that we should be able to win. We did lose 2-0 last time we played them. And we win 1-0. Um, I'll take it, honestly. My goal is just to finish probably 10th or better this season. I think we can do it. Oh, and also, a, a decent debut for our uh, young goalkeeper. I think he's only 20. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to loan out some of these other kids. They're just being annoying. Bunch of stupid 18-year-olds. Come on. Let's get moving. You all need to go out on loan if you want any chance at playing in the future. I like how in the journey, you get forced to go out on loan, but sitting right here, I can't force these stupid kids to go out on loan. I think that's interesting. Well, okay. The journey, the first journey, where you play in the Premier League for the whole entire career mode. I mean, for the whole entire thing. Still need to beat the journey on here so I can get Alex Hunter and them in uh in the game. Not Pacheco's playing for the United States on international duty. That's interesting. I guess what we can do is throw Paulinho in some attacking because uh I think he needs to learn how to attack. Death Skull has decent dribbling and ball control. He's not that bad. If I am quiet, it's because I am laying down really, really far away from the camera. If I need to speak up, please say something in chat. Okay, so we got Udinese, and we do not have any of our right side defenders which automatically puts us at a bit of a problem two one paulinho gets a red card so obviously he's not going to play next match he really hasn't i don't know if he has any goal contributions yet i need to go make sure he's actually doing anything because if he's not going to do crap then there's no need to be playing him right So we get to our right mids. Okay, this guy's only got one assist. Oh. Okay, we'll keep up Paulinho then, because it seems like he's better already in a shorter amount of time. Okay, tough match. We will be playing against Spurs. Uh, or sick. You could have won it for us. Wow, we got crushed by Sasulu.
Hey, if we're able to win this game, that'd be pretty nice. I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah. Now we're traveling to Tottenham uh, Stadium. Tottenham, Tottenham Stadium, or whatever the heck the thing's actually called. I'm talking about the stadium that they're going to be in next year, by the way, if you're wondering. I'm not talking about the one that, that they're in this year, because that's Wembley. And we got beaten hard, hard, hard. And yes, I was right there playing Harry Kane and Belletti right next to each other. Oh, there's actually somebody in the live stream. Sorry, I did not see you join. Welcome. Uh, what'd you say? Oh, you're uh, Croatian. Welcome to the live stream. Up. Uh, I think he left already. Oh, well. He just saw me. He just saw the words of Greb and was like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Torino. I think we might be able to beat them. If we're unable to beat them, then we're going to be in trouble for the next couple games. And wow, we are getting absolutely destroyed. Every single game, we are getting destroyed. What is wrong with the team? Man, we were doing good as well. We were actually in 7th place. Now look at us, we're in 13th. This is definitely not going the way we needed it to. And Beast is still growing a ton. So I cannot wait for him to get out there. Okay, we have a home game against Cagliari. This is so important. Holy moly, we lost again. And now we host Dortmund. Wow, we have lost, I think, five games in a row. I think if we lose today, this will be our sixth loss in a row, which that is not good. I think if we lose this game, then we're done in the Champions League. Yep, we lost. Wow, man. This, just a wow. I think our next, our next best opportunity to win is against Genk. That's... I think that's our last opportunity to win for a while. As we are sinking farther and farther down this league table.
I think we're about to bring Hodgrovic back into the starting 11. Oh, Paulinho finally scored a goal. Holy moly. Maybe he needed that goal to recover his form. Well, to get form. I can't say recover the form because he hasn't done that good at all. Does Paulinho even have a win under any game that he started in? <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a this is a game that we can win, and I I think we have a good chance. Oh my! Wow, I I am speechless, man. Like this team is not doing good. Oh, wow! 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 Okay, well, the Champions League uh, round of 16 is out of the picking. Now, if we draw or win, we move in and we move farther into at least the Europa League. If we do lose, then Ghent goes to the Europa League and we get nothing, which is kind of what I want because I need my team to have more stamina because I think that may be one of our biggest issues right now. So I'm gonna watch this game just to see what happens. Like I know, like I know, I want to win, but is it worth winning if we're gonna keep failing in the league because of just us being too tired all the time? Like I gotta make a decision. Is that worth it? Oh, it looks like we're not even gonna make it anyway. Oh, almost scored. Okay, we move in to the Europa League round of 32. Hopefully we get an easier Europa League this time instead of PSG and then I think Barcelona. Yeah. Okay, we won a game. Finally! We won a game. This is... Th that's good. That's good. And this is another game that I think we can win. So can I keep just pushing? If I could pick up two wins in a row, then that will definitely bring our team back into this. I think the title race is over, but is the Europa League finishing over yet? Oh, how did we lose that game? Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm about to bring in, like, freaking Luka Modric or something. This sucks. I don't want to bring in a freaking 36-year-old, but I don't care. Can't take it anymore. And we got Aas Roma at home. We're out of the Copa Nacional. We should have beaten Venezia. I don't understand how we didn't, but whatever. Oh, we beat Roma. Okay, that's a surprise. Look at Beast. He has like almost all 80 stats besides handling.
Sorry for being quiet. Just I'm sitting here thinking of a way to help this team. Because, man, it has been a tough, tough, tough season. All the money that we that we have left over is going into players. I just want you all to know that. But we gotta do this, and I'm think I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think up front we're okay. I think we just need a new defender at this point. Like, okay. So we're probably going to have about 8-ish mil by the end of this. So if anyone can start thinking of some players, that'd be great. Hopefully I don't have too many contracts. I am thinking a brand new defender is kind of the biggest thing on my list. Five more contracts. Oh dear. Okay, maybe about seven mil. Maybe we'll do a, uh, a free transfer for um, Tanali. I think that's I think that's something I'm gonna do. Bring in Tanali and just uh, get him on a free. I know at the beginning of this I said I wasn't gonna do free transfers, but I don't care anymore because apparently all my signings are not working. And I'm poor, and I know Tanali will help out. So it's kind of just a do I want to fail or not kind of thing. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. I knew he was gonna turn that down. So I'll, I'll probably have to offer him about fifty k. <laughs> Sporadic. Uh, you're you're not gonna enjoy that. Oh well.
this guy's probably going to go on the transfer list next season, so just be aware. Honestly, I might even just sell him now. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna. We'll see what we have after we do. After we go and get Tenali, we'll see how much money we got after that. Okay, time to save my life. Real Madrid have sent in five million for Tonali. Wow. Now that is something I can easily grab them. So I'm going to offer exactly five point. Actually, I'm going to go five. Watch this, though. They're going to say I'm insulting them, which is kind of stupid. Watch this. Yep. Cool. Oh, you're going to sell it to right. You're going to sell them to Real Madrid for that much, but you won't sell them to me. That's that makes a lot of sense. There we go, we won a game.
someone wants to, I mean, Amens wants to buy Diego Costa. Well, they want to bring him in for one year. That ain't happening any day of the week. I ain't tell you. I'm gonna do that actually. There we go. Cool. Okay, so we got six mil to spend on a player. I feel like we have to bring in a defender. Now that's a white person right there. <laughs>
So Beast has officially went to Porto. And Livakovic has returned. This now means we get to add two more training sessions. So we're going to get Bone Boy back into attacking scenarios. And then we're going to get Pacheco back into attacking as well. My main goal is to get Pacheco in the starting 11 soon. I'm honestly about to just panic by somebody. I'm going to offer three mil and just hope for the best. Lovely. Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to buy this 20 year old right here. And then we'll just use all the rest of the money on preseason contracts when we get in June. There we go. Oh, okay. We got them pretty cheap, actually. I'm happy with that. He's definitely not going to make an impact, but he will go right to the substitutions.
The rest of the money is just going to go into a preseason deal on somebody. Okay, we changed up the bench a little bit. We brought on more of an attacking player to hopefully help us out. So we got La Entiende, in, in Tiena, in Tiena, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, in the next round of, well, in the Europa League. Not really the next round because we haven't made it through one yet. I think it's I think it's definitely a team that we can beat. Oh, that's that's bad. Um Moist Keen is out. Uh, Bone Boy. Um, I would use Marin, but I don't. I don't want to. How long's the injury? Oh, it's a training injury. Lovely. Oh, it's only six days. Okay. Only one nil. That's a surprise. We might get fired, honestly. Okay, we won the game. Okay, big game. I think we should be we, well. We should be able to make it through, but it's my team. So what do you expect? Yeah, we lost. We lost at home. It's over. I'm kind of happy that the Europa League's over for us because hopefully our team can be more healthy and we can push on from here. Okay, big win. There we go.
Okay, we have to win this game. Oh, they scored. There we go. The Europa League is done. And I'm preparing for a massive loss today. I'm going to rotate my back line just so our players are not going to get too tired. I might as well, so. And we'll get uh, Pacheco in there for a game. I know it's not good that I have no belief in my team, but let, um, let's be real. Also, it's not because I don't have belief. It's just I, I do think I'm going to lose. So what's the use in me wasting my team's stamina for a loss? I think that's kind of a stupid idea. So now it gives everybody a break, and we can hopefully return back a little bit better. Like, as you can see, my team is super duper tired. I think we might have a chance to win this game. Okay, now that, that's unacceptable. Okay, I'll take the draw. Honestly, though, like, if you look at the team compared to last year, I would say it's better. But our performances are completely different. Now, yes, we did have a great start until Europa League came around. I mean, until Champions League came around. And then we just got worse. And then we were never able to get back, and we're not able to get back into form. Oh my god, we don't have a goalkeeper. Besides our really, really young one, I think. Okay, luckily, Livakovic came back just in time.
we actually won a game. Holy moly. Up, we're in 12th now. Another victory, holy. How long has it been since we've had two straight victories? I'll take it. I'll take a draw, honestly. I'll take it. Come on, let's not lose. Yes, we actually won. Let's keep it going at this point. I think finally being out of the Europa League and international, I mean like intercontinental cups at this point, it's finally coming back to help us. It's allowing us to actually get through games without dying. Three away games in a row. That is annoying. Okay, this will this will probably be a loss. Hopefully it does not come back to haunt us. But this one this game is looking pretty good in their favor. They've won their last three. They won against Juventus in one of those three. Yeah, I uh, Yeah, that's fine, though. We're still 10th. That's another victory.
win again, though. Which is, it's kind of weird how we're winning more games now, but our manager rating is dropping. I think that's interesting. If I do get fired, we're going to start over with a whole new team, I think. Uh-oh. Am I about to get the genuine sack? Uh oh. Uh oh, we're getting our ratings getting lower. Finishing Europa League, you're crazy. Dude, Death Skull almost has a 99 stat already. That's insane. Oh, my God. The suspense is killing me. And sadly, we're probably going to take the L against Inter. If we're able to win this game, I think uh, I think we could keep our job. And we did, so that's good. Hopefully we can win this game. That'd be great. Okay, we drew. Hopefully that means we got ninth. I hope. Okay, I will take a ninth place finish. I am okay with that. This season had plenty of ups and downs. But in the end, it's better than last season. bring in somebody new we might as well use up all of our money
Do I have enough money to bring in Renike? Because I will. I guess I'll do it if I have enough money. Huh, we are we are barely making it out of this season alive right now. And we still might not make it out alive. Uh, there's still a chance we get fired. I think next season, a right back, potentially. Maybe, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But definitely... I don't. I actually don't know what we might want next season. Like, we have, we, like we have a new left winger coming through, which is uh, Pacheco. How good has this guy done? And we didn't get to play Champions League or anything. Oh well. Oh crap, I never saw a contract. Oops, I might not have I might not have enough money. Oh, that's why he was all the way at the bottom. Ooh, we're not gonna have enough money, man. Oh no. Oh, we'll have enough money, never mind.
Hope the Spanish clubs are after my Polish uh, right winger. There's still a good chance we're going to get fired, honestly. I think I think next season we just got to go like all out for something like Jaden Sancho or something. That's if we can, if that, that's even if we can make it to the end of the month. So we've sold two of them so far. Four six also gone. That's gonna add about fifteen mil to our budget. And then we'll probably get about eight mil from well we'll probably get about four mil from preseason. So yeah, I think we may have made it to safety. Next season, we're going to have to have a good season. Or else we will be fired. Okay, next season is going to be where I need to be a good manager. What I may do is head to the bathroom after this while we wait for this all to load. I shall return. Move to the bed. I might even go grab a snack. I don't know. Probably not.
Uh, let's continue the stream. How much money we got? Okay. I'm gonna end off the live stream. I'll be back to do um the ultimate team stuff. I'll see you guys later though. Uh take care, peace out, and bye bye.